In your CALGO algorithms, you can include email notifications that will be sent out based on specified conditions in your CBOT or indicator source. To enable notification emails, go to the Preferences menu and select Email Settings. In the Email Settings window that appears, check the Enable Email box. As you will see, the Email Settings fields will become enabled. You can check the Use SSL box if your email server requires an encrypted connection. You will need to enter the server name and port number of your email servers. You can find these settings for most popular email providers by doing a simple search using any search engine. In this demonstration, we're using Gmail, so our SMTP setting is smtp.gmail.com and our port number is 587. Next, check the Use Authentication checkbox and enter your email username and email password. When you're done, click Save. Now that the email settings are configured, let's create an email notification trigger in a CBOT. You can set notifications for any condition or event that is triggered when an algorithm is executed. In this example, we'll add it on the onPositionOpened method so we only receive an email when a position is opened. Go to the Robots menu and select a robot you want to set up an email trigger for. Find the onPositionOpened method in the editor. In the braces or curly brackets underneath the method, start to type the word notifications. You'll notice the IntelliSense drop-down box already suggesting it, so you can just press tab or enter to autocomplete. Then type dot, send email, parenthesis. Now you'll enter the sender's address, the recipient's address, the email subject, and the message body. Enter each value inside quotation marks, and separate them using commas. In this example, we want to send the email to ourselves, so our from and to email addresses will be the same. Let's put sample martingale robot as the subject and use position opened for the email body. Now we close the parenthesis and add a semicolon at the end. You probably want to avoid using email notifications in methods that are triggered very frequently, such as the onBar or onTick methods. Now let's build the robot to apply our changes. The build icon should turn white with no asterisk and the build results should show build succeeded. We want to test if the email settings are working correctly, so let's add an instance and click play to run the robot. After a position has been opened, you'll notice a message in the log tab confirming that the email was sent. And sure enough, we've received the email in our inbox with the subject and message body that we set. You can also use notification emails for indicators, which can then be used in CTrader as well. Just make sure to set up your email settings in CTrader just as you did in CALGO.